Uh, Rose Zhang this past weekend won, and I know a lot of people are making a great deal of the fact that she won. What she did and how she did it was very impressive indeed. This from the LPGA. Talking about Rose Zhang's victory. Earning her second career victory, first since the 2023 Mizuno Americas Open. This is the second time she converted her her second 54-hole leader co-lead into a win. She wins her second event in just her second season on tour in less than a year after turning professional. She's the third American to win this season, joining Nellie Corda, Bailey Tardy. She's the youngest player to win on tour this year at 20 years old. She has 34 starts in the LPGA Tour, 13 of which were prior to her professional debut. She was a member of the 2023 U.S. Solheim Cup team. She gave me a Rolex first-time winner at the 2023 Mizuno America's Open in her professional debut. Her, her amateur career that I was mentioning is incredible, so I'll talk about it for a second. Two NCAA Women's Golf Championships, individual championship titles. She's the only woman to ever win that twice. Two Annika Awards. 2023 Augusta National Women's Amateur winner. 2022 U.S. Girls Junior Championship winner. 2021 U.S. Women's Amateur Championship winner. The eighth player to have won the both USGA championships and the first to have won the Women's Amateur first. Eight wins in one collegiate season, tying Tiger Woods for the most wins by a Stanford player in school history. Spent a record 142 weeks at number one in the women's world amateur rankings. Stand by. There's more I want to get to here. Four birdies in her last five holes. Saw Rose Zhang become a two-time LPGA Tour winner at the age of 20. Can you imagine this? You mean because because we're her and Madeline? Yeah, I'm just saying that leaderboard doesn't look right. Look at that leaderboard. It looks like a mistake. It looks like we made an error. We didn't make an error. That's the leaderboard. It looks like two different golf tournaments. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, the thing that's that amazing crazy. to me is if, if imagine you look being at Madeline Sagstrom, gained, brutal, absolutely brutal. You win by like 15 shots and you lose. Maybe it was Justin Ray that had it out there, but they were talking about Rose Zhang's strokes gained were in excess. She was 25 point plus, right? On the field at one event. Like all-time strokes gained. One event. Madeline Sagstrom, who finished second, was like third all-time on the list. That's how good they did. That's how good they played. That's how unique it was. What we saw, what we were watching. Yeah, here's the... I can read it. I can read it. Uh, this is, You're correct. It's Justin Ray at Justin Ray Golf, a golf stats guru guy. This is the third full season of strokes gained tracking on the LPGA Tour. Rose Zhang's 25.1 plus 25.1 strokes gained total are the most by any player in a single event in that since they started tracking. Madeline Sagstrom had 23.1 strokes gained, which to your point, Matt, was correct, third most. So it was all time, but it's all time based on the three years they've been able to do this tracking. But still, that's, I mean, think about the strokes gain stats we talk about on this show a lot, right? You know, Scotty, these other guys, usually like what number is good, right? Plus three, plus four, plus six is an insane number. Like getting six strokes on the field is like, oh my God, that's the best putting performance ever. And she had 25 strokes gained. <laughs> that's unbelievable. like, truly unbelievable. it's like she's playing, se- uh, uh, it's like her against a bunch of seven year olds. <laughs> so <laughs> afterwards, Rose Zhang had a a chance to address the media, and the first question she had to be asked was, uh, how do you describe what you just did? Honestly, today has been a roller coaster. I think from the start of the day, um, just coming out, it was was rainy, it was cold. I knew it was going to be a grind, and um, I think coming out, I had those expectations of today I really have to find it in me to even play well, let alone win. Uh, And Madeline has been playing rock-solid golf. Um, 
and she's been blowing away the field, so I've just been trying to keep up. And I think that was the mindset going in. I didn't have any expectations because I knew coming out here there was going to be a lot of golf to play. Um, a lot of mistakes could have happened, can happen, um, and I just have to be able to take whatever I have out here. So that was the whole day, starting from one, hit the pin, and did, definitely did not expect that, but it was it was a nice little save. Um, and going from there, was able to hit some sh close, uh, gave me a little bit of momentum just in my own round. Madeline was playing lights out as well, so um, I wasn't really thinking too much of it. And going to the back nine, I, yes, I was a couple down, but I don't think I ever really thought about it too much. I just enjoyed the round, enjoyed my time with Ollie, but also with Madeline and her caddy. Um, we all had a good time. So coming down the stretch, it was honestly, I just hit some crazy shots that I don't know if I could hit again um, in that moment of pressure and was able to get it done. That putt on the last hole, I was already shaking over the putt, but I was just thinking, okay, let's, let's give it a chance, roll it. If it goes in, fine. If it doesn't, let's prepare ourselves for a playoff. So I was full on prepared for that. I wouldn't believe you just because I was even considering not turning pro um, from last May or two years back. Um, I, I wanted to be prepared. I wanted to come out here and be able to compete against the best in the world. Um, and in order to have that, I had to work my way up. So at the moment, uh, moment in time when I was a high schooler, um, I didn't think I had the game yet. So coming out here, clearly everyone's such incredible players with incredible resumes. Um, every single person in the field basically has a win under their belt. Um, and I think being able to even come out with a win, coming out with two, um, just very blessed. Yeah, for sure. I mean, honestly, coming out here on tour, there was a lot of expectation on me to perform, especially after what I did at Mizuho last year. Um, and Sometimes the noise did get to me a little bit, but I had such a good support group around me. Um, I had people who really stuck in and told me to take it one at a time. Um, especially, you know, I have I was able to grow so much throughout the journey in this past year. And I don't know, it's crazy to come out here. I didn't have any expectation of having to win um, because I realized that it's all just noise and I really just have to be able to work at it myself and try my best to put myself in positions like this. Um, but no matter what happened this week, I would have been very satisfied and it reignited my passion for the game once again. Um, there actually wasn't much conversation. He's an Asian dad, of course. He was just saying, ah, oh, good job. Happy for you. He was losing it on the side of the I green. know, he definitely was. I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. And um, he's actually, both him and I grew a lot in this past year together, um, traveling together, being inside the ropes, outside the ropes. Um, he's my number one supporter. Uh, and I don't know, it's crazy to really see him this excited um, because back in the day, most of the time he was just, okay, why'd you hit the shot and use the wrong club? Where'd you go here? Why'd you miss it low? Like it was all those conversations, but to really see him happy. And I'm so happy that I can celebrate with him and be with him. So Rosang winning uh, for the second time, and obviously what the discussion is, what's being set up now, and it's sport. This is what we do. This is what makes it fun, is because Nelly was going for six in a row, she didn't get the sixth, and Rose Zhang is the player that wins, does that kind of set up this like new young guns battle on the LPGA? We shall see. But it was fun to see her win nonetheless, just like it was crazy fun watching what Nelly has been doing and, and whatever still lies in store there as well.